I'm the father of IVF, so I want to hear this question. So I'm the mother of three small children, and I have many friends that have struggled with fertility issues right. over the years while trying to grow their families. And while they're pro-life, they're very concerned that the abortion bans will affect their ability to access IVF and other fertility right. treatments. So although abortion does lie with the states, what is your stance on that, and what would you say to those women? So I got a call from Katie Britt, a young just a fantastically attractive person from Alabama. She's a senator. And she called me up like emergency, emergency, because an Alabama judge had ruled that the IVF clinics were illegal and they have to be closed down. A judge ruled. And she said, friends of mine came up to me and they were, oh, they were so angry. I didn't even know they were going, you know, she, they were, it's fertilization. I didn't know they were even involved and nobody talks about it. They don't talk about it. But now that they can't do it, she said, I was attacked in a certain way. I was attacked. And I said, explain IVS very, IVF very quickly. And within about two minutes, I understood it. How is the selection 50-50? Um, I was called by a senator and uh, not one of the uggos. Don't worry. This was a 10. Trust me. What the hell is going on? Katie Britt, I assume is having a weird day following that. Um, Donald Trump, just heads up. Oh no, sorry, not just Donald Trump, um, to almost every man. Uh, we don't need to know how hot you think everyone is at all times. We don't need like a running tracker of it. I know that for each individual man, it is very important. I am a man. I think my evaluations of people's attraction is the most important thing in the world. I don't need to update people on it constantly. And Trump is a very strange person. Katie Britt, for all of the weird things about her, and there's a lot, is a United States senator. And the, like the first thing he said, he said she was young, to be fair. That was the first thing he said about her. The second is that she's fantastically attractive. Young, fantastically attractive. We know he has a type. He used to hang out with Epstein. But it just seems like such a weird way to talk about this. And Nina also, not only did he start by talking about that, and bear in mind, Katie Britt voted against the IVF bill that the Democrats tried to pass. So if you're the father of IVF Trump, she's the murderer of IVF, I guess. Um, he called himself the father of IVF. He said, it's fertility. He is a grown ass elderly man. And all he knows about IVF is it's fertility. And then he had to ask her what it is. Look, for regular people, you know, if you don't know all of the ins and outs of it, that's fine. You don't necessarily have to. But for a guy who was the head of the country, who claims to be an expert on literally everything and was perfectly comfortable putting people on the Supreme Court who might one day outlaw IVF, I would expect a little bit more than its fertility. But what, Nina, what do you think? This is uh, uh, I want to I wish I was saying this is art imitating life, but it's going to be the other way around. Life will imitate art. Unfortunately, I I don't know what to say about President Trump. John, I don't even know what you want me to do with this. The man is being who he is. So even as thoughts are being formulated in his head, instead of him keeping them in his head, you know, my grandmother once said, you know, just be quiet. So if people want to think that you are a fool, don't, don't, don't reveal that it may be true yeah, by, yeah, yeah. by speaking, you know, but that's him. He, he's not taking my grandmother's advice. So every little thing that he thinks he actually says it while he's thinking so that everybody can be privy to the fact that he really did not know much about this topic as he calls himself the father of IVF. And then as far as a try, he, Listen, the man is over 80, as you noted, and he just he's not going to change. That is his that that is his orientation with women. It is their age and then their looks. And yeah. even at the ripe uh, seasoned age of over 80, he still sees the world through that lens lens, which is very unfortunate because he only sees women mainly through that lens. It's not like yeah. it's an and to that. That is all he is always fixated on. And Senator Katie Britt, hypocrite, hypocrite, mm -hmm. hypocrite. 